but I already have it, so kill away. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's not how I remember that. Whoa. What? I haven't seen that happen before. I don't think. That's not how this how you get here, right? I don't remember. <laughs> Your head, huh? I expected more out of the infamous dragon to think I looked up to you. <clears throat> Any last words? Good one. Now it's my turn. Mr. Kissy Face, cut off his head, put the body in cement. Sure thing, V. Get up. <coughs> the fuck up. Good. I expected more, I looked up to you, etc. Well, fuck you. Fuck you too. Mr. Kissy Face cut off his balls and butt. Cut off his butt cheek balls and dick. <laughs> Good. What do you want? Any last words? I want answers, V. I never told you my name. You should probably cut his tongue out. <laughs> Go. Shut the fuck up, you don't even know me! <laughs> don't waste my fucking time. I'm gonna be late for my date. pretty cool. You learn a little more of the conversation so that you can repeat it later. Yeah. It's... Be late for your date, V. <laughs> Sneaky bastard, you're not here for the Kronos, you're already on it. I knew it. I knew how many times or whatever the fuck. Oh, <laughs> no, on Kronos, that perk up your fucking ears. <clears throat> now you want to talk? Now you want to tell us how to make it? Well, fucking talk! <laughs> I think you broke his ribs. Hey. <laughs> I know your game now. Listen, I have reservations in the second district, and I'm not gonna be late because I'm a goddamn Kronos junkie. Tell me, who supplies you so I can end your miserable life? <laughs> Why do you growl my approval? I think I want your approval, bitch. Fuck you, fuck you! I have the real fucking team, you know? Your form, my cinematic flair, we could have been art. I'm going to fucking kill you. Fuck the questions. He's just trying to get under your skin, V. Shut the fuck up. <clears throat> fuck, fuck. <coughs> <laughs> he hadn't talked yet. Ask fucking Al Kasim who's a bitch. Fucking tell him. Not in the mood for this. You handle this one, Mr. Kissy Face. Tell the boss Al Kasim whatever the hell. You guys, check this out. Alright, I didn't get my sword yet. This is 
pretty cool boss fight. You might notice that one of the goons is carrying your sword. Yeah. And you are picking up the thing. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, good. Now we can have some fun. Hold it. Gotcha. It's a boss fight in a one hit kill game. It's great. Yeah. Like, I love this. Because, like, I would have thought it couldn't be done. That move always got me. Yeah. The, the spinning axe one, that one, is, yeah. is a real bitch. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Hey. Welcome back. I put on your headphones. Shit. Oh shit, now we're like mixing and matching headphones. Now we're like the same guy, dude. As far as having the headphones on our heads is concerned. Yeah, dude. We're basically indistinguishable. As far as which headphones are there. Oh shit. I got you. Thank you. Ah, donkey shit. <laughs> What's a donkey? Hey, shit! He did the he did the move. He, 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 he did that that, that move. <laughs> he did the move that catches you. Move that one. gets you got. Also, you don't want to be on the wrong side of him when he does the the one that, that pulls back. Yeah. Because you can't get caught in that as he's laying down. This fucking ass dude. Yeah. Yeah. His, His name, name is, is Mr. Kissy Face. Yeah. Shit. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just use precognition to make a Russian man rage quit torturing me. <laughs> now I'm fighting this guy. <laughs> Killed the evil boss. <laughs> the dead evil boss. <laughs> I'm glad they made it not look like you're actually teabagging them. I'm glad they decided to not give me the teabag option. Because I was gonna do it no matter what. I think you gotta. I think you gotta moral combat this guy. He's just sitting there, just <laughs> doing that. <laughs> I might as well enjoy my glorious acrobatics before he dies. That's true. You have to actually wait for him to die all the way? Or? Nope. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just toying with him. The worst thing was, he wasn't even a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Who sent us? Very unprofessional. I'm kind of wondering what Snow's deal is. Yeah. Because they never go into it in this game. Yeah. Because they tell you that there's going to be a sequel. They never really do anything with her in this one. Just like Haku from fucking Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> I think a boss fight with her would be great. Yeah. Because it seems like she just fights like you do. 
there's also another guy who does that. So. There's nothing behind those eyes, no soul, no remorse. He didn't care about his mission or the people he killed, or even himself. <laughs> so doing Doculate from fucking Proto Man. Hard <laughs> on. Jay Snow. I'm thinking the boss is gonna give me the reward? Probably. Speak of the devil. Hey, that's so fucking close. Those are sharp. Suke Blit! <laughs> Suke Blit. Suke Blit. <laughs> cheeky breaky, cheeky breaky, cheeky breaky, cheeky breaky. Hell yeah. Now, <laughs> 80s Miami on motorcycles. Are you in Miami? No. It, it's kind of more of a New York kind of place. It's a place called New Mecca. Gotcha, but it gives me New York vibes. They got crowbars. Yeah. The Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. <laughs> and we had a Claymore sword. He had to use a Claymore sword. The quarter life halfway to destruction felt more like an intentional troll than Squirrel King's dead. <laughs> I, I don't even know about what the fuck Squirrel King's whole deal is still. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh. Because that, to me, seemed like, uh. Um. Like. Someone who didn't speak English actually doing a fanfic. Yeah. And that was great, and it just felt so genuine. It felt like a fucking. It felt like he was just trying to. Learn English, and that's how we did it. Yeah. And desp despite it being, like, very silly and not very good, it was great. <laughs> well, it's got shit that you don't think about, like... Yeah. Like, it's so hard to, like, think like a fucking second grader. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And who you? And you, you. You get. You remember Final Fantasy VII when this happened? Yeah, the bike scene. The scene was great. Yeah, it was. I can't wait for that fucking remake. I just. I don't even care if I get to play it. I just want to hear everybody reacting to the shit they forgot about. <laughs> because you ask anybody who says they're like into Final Fantasy, or anybody who says that's their favorite game, what the fuck Final Fantasy is about, they wouldn't be able to answer you. Like, very few people would. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen it recently. So now I, so I'm a bit more familiar with it. Well, because everybody played it when they were like, Fucking yeah. like eight years old to like twelve, and that's like everything going on in that game is shit you would not get at that age. Yeah, yeah. It's like what? What and is? Some of it is just shit you just wouldn't ever get. It's well, absolutely. Weird as shit. It's a bunch of weird ass shit, but it's like like, like everything the part where the guy calls like... you puppy. Oh yeah, that the part where a bunch of dudes. Stretch out your butthole. Yep. Don Corneo's house. There is that. It happens. It could have not happened. It's also but Cloud, it did. <laughs> Cloud getting the black materia and beating the crap out of Aerith. <laughs> there's also there's also when he got Mako po uh, Mako poisoning. And says hurt Kirk. Yeah, but it's like really, it's like he's got cross eyes. He's in like a wheelchair. It's like so silly looking. That's <laughs> supposed to be a serious moment. <laughs> it's I can't take it seriously. <coughs> it's impossible. That are the literal kaiju that come out of the ground to stop all the bullshit. Yeah, that do a damn good job of stopping you. 
It's real funny because it's like everybody forgets why they're there. They just know about they just remember Ruby Weapon. They don't know why the fuck it happened. So someone just claimed that you're not the dragon. Cause I am. Oh, <laughs> they fuck. fucking leave. It's been difficult to find. I have questions. You missed your appointment this morning. I learned why I turned on the news. When, when I turn on, there's a smoldering helicopter on the highway. The mayhem you've caused is inexcusable. We will talk tomorrow. Go directly home and prepare for tomorrow's assignment. Looks like you had a rough day. What'll it be, sir? A blue goo. Give me a cherry mega blaster. Fuck yeah. That sounds great. I'd order it at a bar and get stared at by the patrons there because they're toxic as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they think that that's not an acceptable thing to drink for some reason. Depends on which bar. Yeah. Well, Depends on where it, I was thinking like, about the bar I went to yesterday. Oh, got it. That's like walking distance from my house. <laughs> it's like a sports bar? Um, no. The sports bar, well, it, it, I guess it is. But there's a sports bar across the street from it. I gotcha. That's pretty great. It has better food. <laughs> it's like, uh, because I know, I know, like, the crowd that, like, gets drawn to a sports bar would probably be, like, what? Yeah. But, like, depending on where you're going, you order a cherry mega blaster, you might just get a laugh. Man, these fucking veterans, though, are fucking trash. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about how the worst shit. Yeah. Think about all them war vets. Do you start to feel bad? They were bitching about the child killings. Fuck the crow mags and fuck their dead kids. That that's kind of the line you need to hear to yeah. know exactly everything you need to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rounds on me, baby face. Cheers, mate. They hated us. I thought we'd be heroes, man. I thought I'd get all the pussy when we came back. It's because of those psychics or whatever. Government mind control spec ops. Laboratory test tube freaks trained to. Is that old man filling your head with conspiracy theories over there? Ignore that old blowhard. You ever hear about the government combat drug program? Drones? Hell if I know the name. They had those fucking death squads full of super psychic super soldiers killing people by the thousands, straight up massacring villages. Apparently, they had him on some kind of drug to make him see the future or read minds or something. He had a buddy who met one, played a game of cards and won every hand. I bet he knew how it would play out before it even happened. Is he telling you the card game story? Shut it, Ray. Look, all I'm saying here was there's some serious sci-fi shit going on. And maybe he would have won if they left the fighting to the real soldiers, that's all. You know, seven years, not a single civvy has listened to me. You're a bad liar, but you're a good guy. Well, drink up. Bar's closing. It's time to go, sir. <laughs> he took care of your tab. Let's go. I fucking love the... <laughs> the, the wobbly fucking like walk and idle yeah just like the animations uh, in this game are great door I don't remember having a door inside gnome. the door who put this gnome in front Dad. of my door I'll fucking kill them huh what? run okay Help! Terrorism that occurred on the District 1 highway. 
34 dead. <laughs> Fart. Shit. <laughs> Not mad at me? Huh? Hey, I'm sorry. Last night when I asked you for help, you wouldn't listen to me. I thought you were mad at me. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh. Dad's friends came over. I didn't have anywhere to go, so I hid under the stairs like Harry Potter. Like the dimension. He hit on the stairs. Bothered. He wasn't like forced to live there by his shitty fucking. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I was hiding down there. It's like, are you sure you were hiding down there? You've That's... got like a bed here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can get me down here, especially the dementors from Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> they can't get Harry Potter under the stairs where he lives. You found some protein paste. Hell yeah. Fuck. You find something? All I have is protein paste. Ew. Well, I guess I'm hungry. I don't think leaving a child unattended in your home that gets broken into a lot is a good idea, but yeah. I don't know where she should go, so. Sit down. Just now. like. Put her in the safe and just lock it. Oh, hold on, I, <laughs> I need to fiddle with the shit on your desk. Oh, that's after the session. <laughs> Feel free to what mess with the, the things. Hell, on my what desk. were you doing last night? Your mission was to kill Al Kasim, not destroy this fucking city. This city. <laughs> there are two goddamn wrecked motorcycles and a goddamn helicopter on the highway. What the fuck were you thinking? Does the name V mean anything to you? Like for Vendetta? The fuck is V? It's a goddamn letter. What the fuck are you talking about? And the sensitivity of your work. Do you understand the discretion our mission demands? Uh, v was that Russian guy that I got that killed. Oh, no, this elaborate advertisement for your services as a killer, because look, that looks like a big fucking look at me. Well, our superior saw, and we're this close. You're not looking so hot right now. I bet you want a hit of that good stuff, huh? <laughs> oh, the arms. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, I guess I don't look so great right now either. Rough day. But what I've been through... Doesn't even compare to what's in store for you. You don't even know about it, do you? The withdrawal. Jesus, you really don't know, do you? You stupid fuck, this is it. This is how it ends for you. When the drug runs out, you suffer for eternity. Yikes. Time stops, you're stuck in your own mind with nothing but nightmares to keep you company. You're gonna wish you were dead. But it'll never happen. Those neighbors of yours? Yeah, they're dead to us. But the shit I gave them? They're still there in their minds. It'll never end for them. Eternity of torture where nobody can hear you scream. <laughs> Maybe I can show you some of the things the real dragon did. Ugh. Get your dossier on the way out and act like a goddamn professional tonight, dragon. The name would almost be humorous if your recklessness didn't jeopardize our lives and everything we've worked for. How preposterous of me. Of course you're not responsible for the rash of highly visible third district murders. It must be some other dragon. <laughs> All of them, I mean... What? You just told them that there's another dragon? On the highway during the El Kasim mission. That... I was not expecting that. Who was this person? Inhumanly fast swordsman. You're aware of an individual who fits that profile. Did he say anything to you? Questions for V? V. One of your highway corpses, I presume? Yes, I see. Very good. I had other plans, but... Yes, I want you to track down and kill this person. He cannot be allowed to cause more damage. Who is he? Clearly a menace, more so than I realize. Consider this mission a, mission a public service. 
people are treading on very thin ice. There is no longer room for failure. From this point on, if you display anything less than your utmost compliance or professionalism, you will be replaced. Now get out of here. Oh, now it's time. Let me just, uh... Get the hell away from there. The dragon? Target of interest. Considered extremely skilled and dangerous. Connected with the murder of the prison and lots of high-profile people. Ah, uh, yes, the casino scene. <laughs> 